Hello, I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today we're going to talk about how to transfer files from one card to the other. Now, I use a Canon camera, so therefore I have a compact flash card and an SD card slot in my camera. When I shoot, I shoot large JPEG on the SD card and my camera raw files onto the compact flash card. And say after the shoot, I don't care about the JPEGs, I care about the camera raw files. So I can always format the SD card and then transfer the comp or from the compact flash card over to the SD card all the camera raw files. So therefore I have a backup. And that's if you don't have a computer or whatever, this is gonna be done in the camera. Or say if you have a second shooter or a behind the scenes shooter and you want a copy of his files, you can do, and he only has an SD card, you can slap it in and you can transfer from his SD card to an empty compact flash card in your camera. And so it doesn't make a difference if he's using Fuji, uh, Nikon, or any other, it's just gonna transfer the files no matter what. It, that's all it does. So, here we're going to go in here and we're going to go over to the record function. So we're going to do our little bar. Or our... So we have record function plus card slash folder select. So we're going to go in there. So my playback is two and I want to transfer um, the images from the SD card, which is number two to the compact flash card. So what is, we have to set it up in this function that way. Because if I go from here and I press one, that's gonna transfer the compact flash card images over to the SD card. But I'm gonna say he has an SD card and I wanna transfer over to a compact flash card. So I'm gonna go back in here, I'm gonna click that. So we're gonna hit the menu button, go back, go to our play function we're going to go to image copy. We're going to select here. Now my source file is going to be number two and my free space is the compact flash card. So basically we just go over here and we hit all images and it's going to copy to the compact or copy to the compact flash card. So then it's going to record or save all the files that are on his compact or SD card onto your comp or compact flash card. Let's go the opposite way. So we're gonna go back and scroll back over and go back here. And we're gonna switch this to, say he has a compact flash card and you wanna save all the fire files to a SD card. So we're gonna go back there. So we're gonna go back to our menu and we're gonna go back to copy images or image copy. And now my source is one and my free space is the SD card. So then we just hit here and hit all images, it's gonna copy all to card two, which is the SD card, and done. And if I wanna back up after, again, a shoot's over, I don't care about the large JPEG files, I care about the camera raw files. So I will back up an extra copy of my raw files onto an empty JPEG, or I mean SD card. So then that way I have two copies of the raw files. So therefore, I am, again, backup, backup, backup. You don't want to go and, and mess something up later down the line and not have the images that you want or the files that you want just because something happens to one of the cards. So therefore, you always want to make a backup. And this is how you do it without having a laptop or a computer next to you again. Hopefully this will help you out in backing up your files when you don't have a computer handy or if you want to get the behind the scenes footage if someone else is shooting that and put that into you and take those home with you so you don't have to take their card or trade them cards. And that's just, again, simple practice. You should always back up all images no matter where you're at just in case if something happens. Again, my name is Scott with Sean's Photography and thank you for watching.